Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side corner of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. So that's on the top left hand corner. From here, we're going to choose the second option where it says System Preferences. Now, I do want to highlight before we go into there that before we used to do all our updates in the App Store. That was before the newest Mac OS. So let's just go into System Preferences for now. Once we open that up, we're going to see on the left hand side on the bottom, it will say Software Update. So click on Software Update. From here, it's going to just check for the latest update. And yes, any updates will require a restart. So make sure you're not working on your Mac. If you have any projects or anything like that, I would highly suggest using Time Machine to make a backup, which I have a couple of videos that show you exactly how to do that. Anyways, we can always view more information to see how big it is. Now it is less than three gigs, exactly 2.4 gigs, and it does require a restart like I mentioned before. At this point in time, we could just do install now, or we can close this and go ahead and press update now on the top right hand corner of this screen. So let's just tap right there. It's just gonna download the update, so agree. And there we go. After downloading the update, we could just leave your Mac, just let it be, and by itself, it's gonna install the update. Like I mentioned before, make sure to do a Time Machine backup, and that's just because Time Machine will backup everything in your Mac, just in case something goes wrong. If uh, you're doing this on a MacBook, make sure you have enough battery. Even if you have enough battery life, I would still suggest it to hook it up to some electricity so you can just run the update really briefly. Now, how long will this 2.4 gigs take to download? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. For some of you, it can only take, let's say, five minutes maximum. Others will take a couple of seconds. And some of you with slower internet speeds, sure, this could take half an hour. But overall, if you have an average internet speed, plus your Mac isn't the oldest one out there, then technically this whole thing should not take more than 30 minutes. But yes, older Macs would run a little bit slower than newer Macs. And like I mentioned before, at this point in time, we can just leave our Mac, it's just gonna turn off. Then it's gonna show us an Apple logo, a loading bar, and that's it. All we have to do is wait for the update to be done installing. At this point in time, your Mac is done updating. We're going to see that it does say software update right here. Your Mac is currently up to date and we are all done. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.